Hey guys, Remcore411 and welcome back to my channel. This will be another DIY. Yes, we are going in with Shea Bay Powder. And I'm going to show you how I make my Shea Bay Powder spritz. Okay? So I got this off of Amazon. It comes in a little package like this. And for backup, I always have a backup. I got another one just in case I don't have enough for what I'm trying to make. So Shea Bay is good to restore, retain, and grow healthy hair. That's what this is used for, for growth of hair and to make your hair strands stronger. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I have my little milk nut bag here and I'm going to fill it with water up in, and this is warm water that I have running in here. I'm going to fill it up and it's probably, I measured this out before and I came up with two cups of water and this is hot water. Okay, so that's hot water that I have in there. And I already have the bag here. This bag here is going to strain everything. There's nothing going to get through this bag. And nothing is going to be in my water. But the Shea Bay powder. No grittiness. No nothing. Just the liquid from the Shea Bay powder. So. One teaspoon times three equals one tablespoon right so I'm going to go in here and open it up and we're going to go for two tablespoons so that'll be six of these teaspoons wait a minute yeah that'll be six I told y'all I'm old and I ain't did math like this in a long time so I'm just going to put it over in here. It's two. That's three. And I want three more. One. Two. And I may have just enough. literally just enough yeah and since that's only a little bit that's left in there I'm going to just dump that right over in there now if you do not use some type of straining mechanism or something something to strain this it's going to be a gritty mess you're not going to be able to spray it in your spray bottles or none of that so you want to make sure that you have these bags and i got them off of amazon as well i have the links in the description box down below so i will not have to use my new bag here which is good because my spritz normally lasts me a good two weeks. I had a, I wanted to put a little aloe vera in it, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to do the spritz by itself with a couple of drops of peppermint. You know, I love peppermint oil. So I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten drops of peppermint oil and to emerge this down in here I'm going to take my spatula and push it all the way down in there. You can already see the water turning colors, especially because the water is hot. But I'm going to let this sit overnight so that I can get the full benefits from it. 
Most people, you can use it. I've used it as a mask before without the uh, milk bag here. And wow, it took forever to get the grit out of my hair. Forever. Just like it's stuck to the spatula right now. That's how it'll be stuck in your hair. Imagine trying to get sand out of your hair for days. So, I'm going to close this up. But I'm going to push it down in there even more. Leave my little string hanging out. And I'm going to take the seal and cover it. Give it a little shake. And remember, this is warm water. And I just let that sit there overnight. Some people do two nights. I do overnight. I don't need two nights worth because it's only two cups. Okay? So there we go. And we'll be back in the morning. All right. It is the next day. I am back. I am back, back, back. Yes. And this is looking exactly, this stuff is so yummy. It's so yummy for your hair. You have no idea. No idea. Look at the growth that I've had on my hair from using Shea Bay Powder, Fenugreek, Aloe Vera, OMG. Let me set this measuring cup over here because I'm going to drain what's left. And then these bags are also washable. So you're able to wash these bags as well. So right now I'm just draining what's left over in the bag into the measuring cup. Pouring that in there. And then what I'm going to do is take a piece of the bag that hasn't been used and I'm going to take it and pour this through there just to make sure I get all of just juice. See, a little bit got in there. So you pour it to make sure you got all just juice. This is what I got. So it was something that seeped through the bag. So now this is just all juice. You take it and you just pour it. And it was exactly two cups, like I said. Pour it into your spray bottle. Keep it in the refrigerator. It's good up to five to seven days. Warm it up if you're low porosity, like I do. And there you go. Shea Bay Powder Spritz. None of the grit, all of the grit is gone. Voila. Just something extra to help retain and grow your hair. Remember though, you have to take care of the ends of your hair. This is helping the scalp and the hair strands. So make sure you're clipping your ends so that you can continue to retain your length. Okay? This is the packaging again. It's Shea Bay Powder. You can order it on Amazon. I have a link in the description box. And I also will have a link for the... Oh, it smells just like peppermint in here. Oh, yes. And I have a link for the bag as well. Okay. So that concludes our video. And I will talk to you later. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything.
did not have my microphone on. I really apologize. So, Shea Bay Powder Spritz. Good up to five to seven days. You can keep it in the refrigerator to keep it potent. 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 Okay? And this is the packaging. And I'm trying to repeat what I said before because I didn't have my microphone on. These bags are called nut milk bags. And I'll have them linked down in the description box as well. Alright, spray this on dry hair, spray this on wet hair, spray this before your, your shampoo, after your shampoo, use it as a, with your leave-ins, it's all good, it just helps your hair grow. Alright, see y'all in the next video, keep God first in everything you do, and I do mean everything, and I got one more video left, one more video left to complete my seven day series i'm so excited all right guys bye